While scanning across the amateur radio bands, most operators will find beacons transmitting that let them know if propagation conditions are favourable or not. These beacons are owned and operated by amateur radio operators, but quite often, particularly on the 10 and 160 metre bands, different kinds of beacons can be heard. Driftnet radio boys are used extensively by fishermen in the open seas to keep track of their drift nets and long fishing lines. Drift nets are huge fishing nets that can be up to two miles long in the dark depths of the ocean by means of a radio direction finder. DRBs use Morse code, or a variety of dots and tones transmitted at low power, between 3 and 10 watts, but usually around 5 watts, before they transmit their unique identifier or call sign. They have simple whip antennas and can be heard for hundreds, if not thousands, of miles. It is very common for ham radio operators who live close to the sea to hear these fishing beacons, often interfering on the allocated amateur radio bands due to frequency shifts when the battery that powers the DRB begins to fail or has an ingress of seawater. These simple devices, a transmitter housed within a sealed barrel attached to a drift net, are popular with Korean and Japanese trawlers in the South Pacific because of the difficulty in acquiring a satellite signal for GPRS. There is a whole community online dedicated to tracking Driftnet radio boys and logging their identifiers and the frequency they transmit on, and where they can be heard. For amateur radio operators though, defective beacons can, and often do, interfere with ham radio bands. Next time you are scanning the airwaves, be sure to listen out for a lonely DRB calling out across the vast oceans in Morse code, waiting for a fishing trawler to come by and collect the drift net it is attached to. Thanks for watching and be sure to like the video, share across social media and hit the subscribe button to find more of the weird things you can find transmitting on the radio spectrum.